Oh, whoa. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Take a look at that face right there. I definitely need to get, whoa. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. And as you can see, this entire stack of snakes here hatched in the incubator this morning. Let's get over to the shop and take a look what hatched. But before we get into what we hatched out, I have a box here. And of course, that means that we are gonna unbox some snakes. And this particular shipment I've been excited about because the last time that these snakes came in, I wasn't here. So I had to watch Lori and Eric unbox these snakes and I was pretty jealous of them. So, oh gosh. So I am excited that I get a chance to unbox these myself. Oh, such a big box. Oh, look at all these cute little monkeys right here. Of course, these are some little red blood pythons. We got these in last time as well, and uh, they're so popular that it didn't take long for them to sell out. Just take a look at how absolutely adorable these snakes are. I love them to death. And you know, blood pythons and short tail pythons can really be extremely variable, so it's neat that when you get a shipment of 12 or 15 or 20 or whatever, each one is a little bit different, which is cool for you guys because we put up individuals on our website and you can pick out which one you guys like if you want to buy a blood python. Again, here's another example of just a little bit different color and a little bit of a different pattern. Blood python. I mean, these things are absolutely adorable. And of course, blood pythons get relatively thick. I mean, they'll get like that big around in about six foot or so. So they're a heavy body snake. I've just loved these guys since I was a kid. It's weird that I don't work with more of them, to be honest with you, because I think they're so incredible. I definitely need to get, whoa, definitely need to get more for the zoo. I need a really big, good one for display. But you know what? Blood pythons aren't all that's in this shipment. And I think what I'm going to do is just literally set this down because this box is just too big and pull all of these out. That's right. These are all piebald ball pythons. Remember when Eric and Lori unboxed an entire batch of piebalds? And I wasn't here, so now I get a chance to do it. As you guys know, there is no pie that is just alike. Every single pie is completely different, which makes them completely unique and really awesome. Take a look at that one right there. I mean, I tell you what, that is a stunner. Oh my gosh. And I'll be honest with you, it looks like almost every piebald in this entire shipment is a stunner too. Oh my gosh. These things are gorgeous. Look at how high white this one is right here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's amazing. It's just got one little dot on it. Oh, whoa, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Take a look at that face right there. That is an incredible smiley face. Oh my gosh, it even has a nose. Oh, I love that. That one, oh, this one is good. I tell you what, I'm gonna see if it's a male or a female right now. It's a little boy. I think I'm gonna have to hang on to this one. Oh my gosh, so much pied love. Look at how amazing these things are. And this one here is a low white pie, but again, low white pies are amazing too. And that's what's so great about pie balls. I always say it. If you like high white ones, you can get it. Low white ones, mid white ones, whatever the case may be. And this shipment has a great amount of variety. <laughs> take a look at this one right here. I mean, look at how awesome that is. The front half is almost kind of a really cool pattern, but then the back half is just completely white, almost like you dip the snake in white paint. be honest, I really like these ones here that have like pattern white, pattern white, pattern white. I mean, that's incredible. And just look at how the pied really messes up the pattern and color, even in the normal area. And that's one of the things I think that's really cool about pieds. It's not just like it's pattern then white. It's like the pattern gets all like muddled up and kind of zigzaggedy and stuff like that. And then there's a ton more orange in the normal pattern than a normal ball python. Look at the beautiful striped on this one. Again, I love the way pieds will actually mess with the pattern. And sometimes you get these really beautiful stripes just like this one. Ooh, look at the pattern on that one. Holy cow, that one is so freaking awesome. I love it.
Ooh, doggy. Look at how much white is on this one. I mean, that one is absolutely stunning. And I always say that the white on the pipe is whiter than any of the leucistic ball pythons. It is pure white. And this one almost has a smiley face. It's kind of a weird little marking right there. Definitely not quite a jack-o'-lantern, but it definitely has two eyes and a big old smile. And finally, there's this one here. Oh my God, I love it when they have pattern, but the pattern is kind of patternless, if that makes any sense. Just take a look at that blotching right there. I mean, that is so freaking cool. And it has one up here that just has some freckling on it as well. So I tell you what, guys, that's freaking amazing, isn't it? And I'm gonna be honest with you, you know, 25, 30 years ago when I saw my my first piebald ball python. I never thought all these years later I'd be standing here with a handful of beautiful piebald ball pythons. So uh, that concludes our unboxing for the day. Okay guys, so because we have the same exact environment for unboxing, it's gonna get boring for you guys. I figured I'm just gonna camera angle the heck out of this. You guys think, and of course I've got the crew with me. I'm gonna go through all those baby snakes I showed you down the incubator, starting with this one here. This is actually a pinstripe, but pastel enchi banana. And there's just a bunch of really beautiful babies in here. I mean, take a look at this one right here. I mean, this is just a beautiful pastel banana. And then this one is actually a pastel enchi banana. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the crew help me and aid me on this. Eric's Whoa. gonna probably want all of them. Elsie, of course, is responsible for uh, producing these. She gets an opportunity to uh, to look at them too. This is actually, this one's really beautiful. This, of course, is an enchi pinstripe. I know. So what do you guys think out of this whole bunch? Oh, here's another little NG pins right here. I can't believe right we here. didn't get any banana pins. Yeah, we did. I didn't even think about that. You're right. We yeah. didn't get any banana pins. We whiffed on the banana pin part. Oh, but it's for, I know. Is this cool or what? That thing yeah, is nice beautiful. And... Yeah, look at the blushing on that one. That thing is gorgeous. You know that uh, all the bananas will probably be males, but all of the non-bananas are females. That's so strange. Isn't that crazy? So that's a female, that's a female, that's a female, that's a female. Now I knew that bananas could mostly turn out male. I didn't know that the rest of the clutch would be Yeah, female. isn't that crazy? Yeah, if it's that's not weird. a banana, it's a female. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kelsey's gonna check me on this one. See? It's a female. You wanna try? We'll go through every single one of them. Okay. Okay, female, female. Wow. Lastly, female. Whoa, it's weird how all the non-banana so ones are also pinstripes. Yeah, that is actually kind of weird. <laughs> that's a, all right, moving on to the next club. This next one I showed you guys in the incubator. This one is incredible. This was actually a pewter cypress bred to a chocolate pinstripe. And I know Kelsey's going to be blown away by these guys. So this is actually a cypress chocolate pinstripe right here. That is awesome. Isn't that freaking cool? Isn't that like the first one or something? Yeah, I, I, that's the very first no one way. ever. And you're holding it in your hands. <laughs> oh my God. And then this one is actually really cool too. This is actually a pewter pinstripe cypress ball python. This may or may not be a first. I'm not 100% sure. And then this one is really cool here. This one is actually a chocolate black pastel. It's possibly cypress as well, but uh, pretty cool. And then we have some more of this stuff. We have a couple more of those guys. Another chocolate black pastel possible cypress. This is just a black pastel here. I, I thought this pairing didn't have black pastel. I thought it was cinnamon. It was the pewter, obviously, with black pastel, not cinnamon. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So you can have pewters with black pastel or you can have pewters <laughs> with cinnamon. Oh, there's a really beautiful baby in here. Look, well, first off, look at this. Take a look at this right here. And this was actually one of the clutches that I asked you guys to identify while I was cutting. That first one was actually a pastel calico yellow belly. Isn't that thing gorgeous? Beautiful. Oh my gosh. And there's some really beautiful stuff in this clutch. This one is actually just a pastel yellow belly. That one's for you, Eric. All right. See, everyone gets a ball fight that. And then Kelsey yeah. gets this one. Oh, doggy. That thing That's is incredible. Beauty. This is actually a lemon blast calico That's yellow nice. belly. Now, this one is one I literally do want to keep. I mean, I love that snake. And listen, there's a bunch of other really cool animals in here, too. This one right here is actually a pinstripe calico yellow belly. Look at how orange it is. I actually didn't even look at this clutch. I just saw it downstairs, and I'm not even sure what it is. But this is actually an Enchi Walmart bred to a super Enchi pinstripe. So everything is Enchi. And, of course, the other Enchi means that it could be some super Enchis in here. I don't know. You guys think that's a lot of crazy ball pythons. I mean, there's definitely that is definitely a super Enchi pinstripe right there. I'm wondering if there's any, oh, this must be a super enchi. I think this one actually might be a super enchi Woma pinstripe. You're a hundred percent right with that. Wow. And then you can see right here, this is just an enchi Woma ball python. And again, that enchi gene just does such amazing things for it. That's really cool. And then this one here is just an actual super enchi ball python. Oh my gosh, this, this clutch is crazy cool, huh? I think Kelsey is right. These two here look like super enchi Womas without the pinstripe. This was a great odd. This was actually a yellow belly bred to 
a pastel ivory. So on average, you should get about half of the baby should be ivories. And this is what hatched out. <laughs> look at look at all those little pastel ivories and ivories. Oh my gosh, look at these things. The, a lot of them are pastel ivories too. There, I think there's only one little ivory in it. You get an ivory, you get an ivory, <laughs> yeah. you get an ivory. Oh. So what are the markers for a pastel ivory? Because this always confuses me. So I'm going to show you guys really quick. It's extremely subtle, but this one here is actually a pastel ivory. You can see how faded the head is. It's a little bit whiter. And then this one has a little bit more defined head pattern. That actually is just a normal ivory. So that's that's basically oh, the difference. Okay. You can see how wow. they're just a little bit different. You can't tell the difference though. There's one, two, three, four pastel ivories and only one ivory, and then a couple little yellow bellies in this clutch. So the odds were amazing on this clutch. All right, the last clutch is actually a Firefly Hetford Ghost bred to a pastel mimosa. Wow. And let's see what we have here. Look at this animal right here. This is a super pastel ghost ball python. I mean, is that thing sick or what? Oh Holy my gosh. Smoke. And then of course, these are just pastel mimosas, possibly fires. As a matter of fact, I think this one right here is absolutely a fire because you can see it doesn't have any pattern compared to the other one. There you go, Eric. Woohoo! <laughs> then these last couple here are just fireflies that are possible had for ghosts. So, uh, so there it is, guys. I uh, used the crew to help me show you guys. What did you think? What was your favorite animal? Oh God, I love that pewter cypress clutch. Like it's yeah. such a surprise to find out that it's black pastel instead of cinnamon. I wish yeah, I knew that early. I love that one. You love this one? The blushing yeah. is insane. This one's beautiful. And Eric, what do you think? I love the ivories, man. Ivories? They're so cool. Really? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. That's awesome. Well, let me know in the comments, guys, which one of these snakes you like best. And there you have it. So I guess the good thing or bad thing, depending on which way you look at things, and I try to look at things positively, is that I have a little more time to do things over at the Reptarium to get ready for the cages, which by the way now looks like the 30th of this month, not the 27th. So again, if anyone was gonna come visit me and help me out, please reach out to me. Please do not show up on the 20th or the 27th, show up on the 30th. I do need a lot of help because we have to unload two trucks within two hours. So we're gonna be buzzing there, but if you wanna help, please hit me up. And if you were gonna come, please, Please remember, now it is the 30th, but that is a drop dead date. We are absolutely getting them on the 30th. So in the meantime, I'm gonna install this television right here on this wall because uh, why not? And there you have it. Uh, TV is up on the wall. I can't wait to be watching really cool movies here. I know Lori said I'll probably be here all night long, never wanting to leave because I'll be watching my favorite show or something like that. Regardless, uh, that wraps this project up over at the Reptarium. Well, with that said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and spend the rest of this beautiful evening here by my pond in my backyard trying to relax a little bit. It's been a long, I don't know, 13, 14 hour day. Gonna have a lot of those coming up until the Reptarium is done. And then I'm gonna be there probably 12 or 15 hours a day when I'm in town. Regardless, I'm having a great time and I cannot wait to share the rest of this journey. I do apologize that it's being put off, but I promise we will get there. And I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Thank you as always for joining me. You guys mean the world to me and I do love you guys so much. Do me a couple favors before I get out of here. Can you smash that like button? Turn the post notifications on so you know when I upload a video, which is every day at nine o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time. Remember to be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.